They're lifting up the community with their voices. The Sacramento Gay Men's Chorus has grown to become an integral part of Sacramento's LGBTQ plus and musical communities through their performances and outreach programs. Membership Chair John Cranick is joining us today to tell us more about the chorus and their exciting plans for the future. Hi, John. Hi, Audrey. How are you? Happy Pride. Happy Pride. No, it's great to have you on the show and a timely time to do it during Pride Month. Tell us more about the chorus, how it got started, how long have you guys been around? Oh, uh, well, the chorus has been around for <clears throat> 36 years. We are going into our 36th season. However, it'll be our 37th year because we took this year off because okay. of the pandemic, obviously. Um, so we started in the mid 80s as a support group and uh, for gay men who wanted to get together and sing with a group of familiar people. And now it's grown into uh, almost 90 people this uh, this last time, and we represent the entire LGBTQ rainbow with all gender identities and expressions now. That's awesome. And so, you know, yeah. obviously, like you said, you had to kind of take a year off because of the pandemic. So what are you looking forward to now? I hear you may be recruiting a few new voices and singers. Uh, I am. I'm the membership chair. I'm always recruiting new voices, and um, I'm actually getting a little emotional seeing these pictures come up on the screen. Um, I actually got two calls last night from uh, members that were at karaoke and piano bar. So I'm getting I'm getting new names all the time. <laughs> and so um, I'm, we're always looking for new members. You people can look at our Facebook page and see when we're starting up at the end of August and how to join us. So upcoming, you're going to be in person for practices and performances. What are you gearing up for? Yes, our plan is to return for the holiday season. So um, we took three concert runs off the spring, the fall, this holiday and spring again. So we will be returning this August. Uh, the end of August, and um, the first holiday show, our holiday shows will be the first weekend of December. I like to think of it as the um, Sacramento's unofficial kickoff to the holiday season. It's always the first weekend of December. All right, good to know. We'll put it on the calendar. Now, who are some of the people that make up the chorus, and what kinds of music and pieces do you perform? Um, all kinds. Uh, the holiday season will tend to be some. Um, classic Christmas things. Um, we also like to represent other faith traditions. And so there'll be some serious things. There's, there's usually something body and a little trashy um, and fun <laughs> and um, everything in between. And of course, there's always a show tune thrown in. So, so John, you've, you've been part of the organization for a little while now. Um, what is it that you love about what you guys do? Um, wow. Um, well, it's the number one answer everyone gives, and I'll give it myself, it's, it's we're a family. This group really has been together through a lot of um, uh, difficult situations. People come to us for connection and um, and being together, and what's all and to sing together, to make music, to find other people to to make music with is a special thing. And during this time off, we did try Zoom rehearsals, but that was a a lonely place for a lot of people. You ended mm -hmm. up sitting at your dining room table like I am now singing on mute to yourself and you know we joined a community chorus to sing with each other and so it's it's the connection well it's great to know that you guys will be able to do that in person and that you'll have performances where we can come out and support and see what you do now going back to the recruitment of new singers um do you yeah. have to have any qualifications can you teach them to sing uh, mm, <laughs> I, mm, we, yeah, it's a little, t we need you to be able to sing. Yeah. So yeah, to match pitch and carry a tune. Um, we can, we have people with all the different levels. There are people that are beginner singers and, and people that are accomplished soloists and everything in between. So the idea is just to be able to blend with other people and to be able to sing in a tenor and bass, um, voice range. Very good. And, and what would you say the legacy is for your organization in Sacramento? What do you guys really want to be known for? Oh, wow. Well, my, our mission statement comes to, to mind, and it's uh, fostering, fostering pride and enhancing lives uh, one song at a time. And I like to think of that in a broad sense, that we're enhancing lives, our own lives and the lives of the community. All right, John. Anything else you want to tell us that people should know about the chorus? Um, well, I'm going to put my recruiting hat back on again. We're open to everybody, so please look me up on Facebook. It's sacgaymenschorus.org, or that's our website. And then look for our Facebook page, and I'll give you all kinds of updates on how to join us. Okay, Come sing with us. Very good. Very good. Well, happy Pride. Thanks so much for filling us in this morning about the chorus. And if you want more information, again, go to sacgaymenschorus.org.